I feel like there's. Bro or you have code. a sister too, oh, maybe. Okay. Oh, bro code. Bro code is, hey, don't talk to the girl because like I'm totally, I'm digging on her. You know what I mean? <laughs> like. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Clever. I'm Jocelyn Davis, and today I am super excited to be welcoming back to the show for like the hundredth time, Victoria hey. Justice. Oh, no. Oh no, and Pearson Fode <laughs> is joining us as well. Um, you guys, it's so nice to have you here. It's so great to be here. So it's we can great to catch here. up and talk about your movie, which you shot two years ago, so thank yeah. you. We're excited it's out. Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List. Okay, I watched the trailer, and it's the No Kiss List, but there's a lot of kissing in the trailer, so I feel like you need to explain yourselves. What is up with this movie, because I'm excited about it. Coming of Age Story takes place in New York, right? It's about a girl, Victoria, who loves yes. a boy, me, Who's in love with a boy? Oh, her boyfriend. How to be my boyfriend. Ooh, awkward. That so is complicated. Yeah. yeah. But, but it is a romantic comedy, which yeah. I love. It's yeah, it's a bit of a romantic comedy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's like a like you're saying, it's like a very modern day coming of age story. I think there are a lot of moments that'll make you laugh and moments that will make you cry. I mean, like my dad cried. So. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is like the ultimate seal yeah. of approval if yeah. you get the dad tears, yeah. right? Seriously. So it's a, I'm really proud of it. And. I think the movie is something that people can really connect with, the storyline and having that best friend, crushing on the same person. What did you guys really gravitate towards with the script whenever you first read it? Well, I mean, I really loved, I love this whole story. I felt like that's, this story has never been told mm -hmm. before. Um, you know, a girl, I feel, I feel like a lot of girls have been in love with their gay best friend. Uh, um, yes. And, you know, so I feel like that was a really interesting thing within the fact that he falls for my boyfriend and, I just really liked, it, it's just a really sweet, a modern coming of age story. And uh, the character of Naomi, she's very, she's very vulnerable. She's going through so much um, in her life at this point when you meet her and, and things are kind of falling apart and she's losing her best friend. She's, she's everything is crumbling. So um, it's a really interesting story to see how it all like, pans out. Mm -hmm. And what about for you, Pearson? What did you mm -hmm. love about the story? I think I, well, first of all, I've never played a gay character. Um, and that was really, I was actually very hesitant at first to do that because I just, I, you know, I didn't want to misrepresent, mm -hmm. you know, because I had so many friends that have done it really, really well. And I was like, I have a big standard to live up to at that point. But he was such a badass in the script and he had a lot of fun and um, he, was, he was kind of a guy after my own heart, a little bit more selfish than, than me personally, but yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe a lot, maybe a lot <laughs> more Maybe selfish. a lot. It's funny about this movie though, is that our characters really have like this arc, like at the yeah, beginning, they're definitely. very like in their own little bubble almost, and it's, it's they're kind of immature and mm -hmm. a little selfish and- They have a lot of fun. Oh, I can tell, you know, when I watched the trailer, it looks like you guys are having such a blast. What was it like shooting this movie in New York? It looked so fun. Yeah, cool. I, I've never amazing. never been to New York. Up really? Up yeah, and so like coming off of a farm, going to New York and trying to be a New Yorker was really, really fun for me because I got to just watch people on the subway and people watch and just absorb everything that they were doing and I just incorporated it into Eli. So. And you spent a lot of time in New York yeah, um, last year doing your show. Um, um, did you guys go any fun places, like any favorite spots in New York that... You guys really Washington loved. Square was really cool for yeah, me. Yeah, it was great filming Washington Square Park. Yeah. It's such a beautiful location um, with the arch and like all these cool people. Mm -hmm. There was this guy that had made these like huge bubbles. Like, oh, yeah, like, like how do you do that? And then the pigeon guy. The pigeon. What do you remember? Guy? He like fed pigeons, and there was just pigeons everywhere and crawling all over him. And I was like, <laughs> put some on me. Please. Oh my gosh, you're <laughs> way more brave than <laughs> I am. And you guys, you know, you can really tell even from just watching those few minutes of footage that's out now that you guys are selling the best friend thing hardcore. How did you guys form that best friend bond? Did you go to like summer camp together or something right before, or how do you guys kind of get that together when you're acting? Um, we actually really didn't have a whole lot of rehearsal time before doing this movie, and we. We were kind of like thrown into it, um, but yeah, I mean, like we got sushi together a few times and hung out, mm -hmm. and um, and then when we got to New York, our director Kristen, who directed Rock of Ages on Broadway, and she's amazing, mm -hmm. um, we had like a really intimate rehearsal, like mm -hmm. the first week that we were there, and um, yeah, it was just really fun. You know, it was easy to become friends, especially just we're similar personalities in a lot of ways, so it just made it very yeah, we really cl we clicked yeah. And when it works, it works, yeah. you know? Chemistry is chemistry. What would you guys say you're most excited for viewers to see with this movie? Like, what aspect of it are you most excited about? My favorite part is kind of what we've been talking about the whole time, is the unrequited love that we feel for somebody else. And it, it's not just a gay thing, and it's not just a straight thing, it's an everybody thing. We've been in love yeah. with somebody that did not feel the same way about us. And oh, I know that story personally very well, and like, it's just, 
you know, it, it sucks. But I think that's somebody that's something that everybody can relate to, you know. Definitely. Oh, yeah. my favorite part of this movie. Um, I would say I'm really looking forward to people seeing that too. And mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, also the soundtrack is really, really cool. Like I love yeah. all the music in the movie. It's mm -hmm. shot beautifully. Like you really get like the essence of New York and the film, which is awesome. Yeah, it's just a really cool, it's a cool journey. It's a cool story. Absolutely. I think, I think it'll move some people, which is exciting. And I think it's gonna move some people out there to formulate their own no kiss list because I think this is genius and I wish yeah. it would have existed. <laughs> Maybe even now, to be totally honest. Did you guys ever do any fun packs like this with friends when you were growing up? I feel like there's- Or you have a sister too, oh, maybe. Okay. Oh, bro code. Bro code is, hey, don't talk to the girl because like I'm totally, I'm digging on her, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's like it, an it, understanding. It really, even if you haven't talked to her yet, it's, it's still like, someday I'm going to talk to her, so don't talk to her before I do, you know? <laughs> it's really, it's, it's weak. Yeah, I don't. I never really had a no kiss list necessarily, but I think there's going to be a few after this. Um, you guys, thank you so much for coming in and chatting yeah. about this movie. It looks awesome. And also, I want to mention that if people pre-order it on iTunes, yeah. the proceeds from digital download will go to the Trevor Project. The Trevor Project is an amazing organization. They are the largest organization to um, prevent suicide for LGBTQ youth, which is obviously it's a it's a huge issue and um, it's really cool to be able to give back and support that. Absolutely. Very cool, thanks for coming in. You guys, thank you so much for watching Clever. We'll see you later. And for more fun with our girl Victoria Justice, click to the left to find out a list of fun facts you might not know about her. Then click to the right to see where are they now, the cast of Victorious.